Hello, beautiful people. My name is Sharice. If this is your first time here, welcome everybody to my channel. So in this video, I'm just kind of giving you guys a little life update. <gasps> Pretty exciting. Um, really, really, really massive life change happening for me. I am actually officially moved to Utah. I was planning on leaving and settling down somewhere in Nevada, but Strangely enough, as some of you might know, I'm not a big fan of the city, but I've been in the city for like two and a half weeks now and I have experienced so much peace. So I actually decided that I would rather stay here and move in officially long term into my brother's apartment and basically start to settle down here and get a real person job. I know freaking crazy so if you are new to this channel i have been living nomadic for four years i've been living out of my forerunner i have been wanting and desiring more stability in my life honestly i would say for the past couple years now and i would say over like the past six months it's really settled in much deeper that i want a living stable type of situation and I started opening up to the idea of getting a real person job again after four years of not about six months ago but at the time where I was at in California it was very difficult for me to find work and that didn't work out and honestly I was having in my time being nomadic through California and Oregon, I had a lot of actually very quite negative experiences. And I was talking to one of my friends and mentors, <laughs> mentors, oh my God, one of my friends and mentors, and she suggested why I didn't just start over somewhere fresh, go somewhere brand new. So I wasn't necessarily planning on doing that, but circumstance just kind of led into that and I made my move to Nevada and I was there for about a month and then I came out to Utah. Yeah, so now here I am and it's actually really wild. I feel like it's a sign that I am in alignment with what is best for me and like the right plan for my life because everything has just been flowing so smoothly. When I suggested getting on my brother's lease, he was very excited and very welcoming about that option. I had another living opportunity, um, but that one actually, like the house was super moldy and the family friend was just like, this is gonna be so much work to get this done. So I was like, hey, would it be better if I just stayed in Utah with my brother? And he was like, that would actually be really helpful. So everything has just flowed. I actually ha already have two job offers. I have been applying at jobs for the past week. By the time I post this video, I will have already gone to one job interview. Perhaps I will share with you guys where I do get hired when I do get a job, but just the fact that in the past when I've tried to get like real people jobs, it has been so difficult and like it felt like everything was fighting me from every side. And being here in Utah, I've already got two job offers and it's just kind of like everything is obviously flowing way more for me. So we'll see if I that moves forward with those jobs. If not, they're not the right ones for me. And if they are, like I guess I got a choice ahead of me. So yeah, this is really exciting. I'm a little bit nervous because I am settling into a very different style of living than what I've been used to for the past four years, but that's actually kind of an encouraging and positive thing for me. Not only me, but my dog, Gus, the lighter one playing right now. That's Gus, he's a little wolf hybrid. The dog he's playing with is my brother's dog, Maple. But Gus is a wolf hybrid and he's actually a big part of the reason as well why I have kind of been busting down on creating a more stable living situation for myself because to be honest living out of my vehicle is not the best method of living for him and I think that that was just kind of align me, aligning me more to a personal goal I had for myself as well so just another thing that's just kind of been flowing for us 
I am very grateful for the past four years that I have lived nomadic because it has taught me so much. Um, so, so much. It's taught me definitely how to live extremely frugally, how I can survive and thrive off of very little, which I think is a skill and a trait that is awesome to have no matter what type of living situation or financial situation that you are in whether you are more wealthy or poor i think that that is a wonderful skill to have it has taught me how to break out of the over consumerism that greatly influences society so i'm just i'm excited to take all the things that i've learned during that lifestyle and apply it to my new mode of living so i do want to still go on adventures and take videos of that but right now i am going to be more focused on creating and building on financial stability in my life so one thing i wanted to talk about that i feel like i have created over the past past four years for myself that might look different from other people my own age is I find that as I'm 29 years old, okay, I think that a lot of other 29 year olds, probably most, have been much more focused on their careers and financial stability over the past years, while I have been really, really focusing the most on my mental and my emotional stability and creating a safe space within myself so I can thrive and grow more deeply and really just working on my self-love and <laughs> stability in that form so i think that on the outside looking in somebody might view me as someone who is more unstable because i do not have as much to physically represent for what i have completed over the four past four years but i will say that the inner work that i've done is just so so massive so i think that i have honestly gone really really far come really really far in the past four years just because i was able to make that my main priority which a lot of people my age and around my age aren't able to do that because they are working so much and so much more career oriented so I do have to say, I am just like beyond grateful that I've had this opportunity to work on myself in the ways that I have because I genuinely believe that because I have taken these four years to live in a different type of dream lifestyle, a very alternative lifestyle, and that the fact that I've been able to take those four years and work so much on my inner healing and my mental and emotional stability. Now I am able to bring something brand new to the table that I was not able to bring before I went on this little nomadic journey of mine. So I'm excited for that. I will say that there are negative experiences that I've been through during these years and some things that have definitely negatively affected my mental and emotional health but I will say in the long run and overall with like the bigger picture I have come so 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 far with all of that and I am honestly <laughs> just a thousand times more mentally and emotionally stable so i am just i'm excited to bring this new version i'm excited to bring this new version of myself into whatever job i enter into as well as into this new place this new community whatever new people come into my life and get to be a part of it so this is exciting i am a little bit nervous but to be honest i feel mainly just peace um there is of course the emotional ups and downs that come with new changes and new beginnings and new places but like i said for the most part i just feel like a, a immense immensely beautiful amount of peace about where i'm at and where i'm headed so I am still in like a massive amount of like trust falling with the universe, um, especially on my job search where it is a little bit nerve wracking, the idea of entering into a job like this again, um, 
but at the same time I am putting out there what I want I'm going after the things that I want and I'm just gonna trust that if it's right for me and if I'm capable of doing that that it is all just going to work out and align perfectly and flow perfectly into my life I realize that, that is a kind of out there belief for some people but some of you might really vibe with that I think honestly that most people who follow me kind of vibe with that idealization I think that's the right word for it but <laughs> I also just want to say thank you so much to all the support I've gotten recently. I do find that the more that my channel grows, the more that I seem to deal with internet bullying, which I honestly am just like, you know what, that it shows a very positive effect that's being made, but it also shows the negative aspects of Having any type of social media challenge, I know YouTube is a little different than other forms of social media. I do not have any other forms of social media. I know some of you have asked that before, but I deleted all of those sometime last year. But yeah, I just want to say that I genuinely appreciate all the love and the support that you guys have given me since I made those couple posts about how much internet bullying can really suck because i i will say this i am a strong a strong ass motherfucker but i am also a little sensitive baby sometimes and i work through things i do get my feelings hurt um sometimes but i also this is a part of the mental and emotional stability that i worked on that even when i do get my feelings hurt by something i work through it very quickly i release it very quickly i realize that generally it actually has nothing to do with me <laughs> but yeah once again thank you guys so much for the support and the love you're so amazing that was so nice to see this morning Yesterday I posted the stuff about internet bullying and today I just had so many comments of so much love and that was just so 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 wonderful to see but I am going to pull this video to a close and I will keep you guys updated on what's happening next and about my job when I get my job so yeah, thanks so much for being here. I love you guys and I believe in you. Please do like and subscribe if you enjoy the video. And yeah, that's it. Okay, I love you. Bye.